Hey girls, welcome to Kids Corner here at Mystic Aquarium. My name is Mr. Red, and I'm going to be showing you how to draw sharks today. One of my favorite animals, and I'm sure they're one of your favorite too. Did you know there are over 350 kind, different kinds of sharks? I'll bet you can name a few too. Can you name some? Yep, the great, everybody knows the great white, don't they? Okay, what else do I hear? Oh, the tiger shark. There's another one. Yep, pretty scary shark. What else? Oh, I heard the hammerhead. You're right. The hammerhead shark is another kind of a scary looking animal, isn't he? With those eyes on the end of those, those kind of horns on his head. It's not really horns, though. And also, what else do I hear? Ah, let's see. Oh, the blue shark. Of course, the blue shark. And what else do we have? Oh, I hear the lemon shark, the cookie cutter. Oh, you know a lot of sharks. All right, good job, guys. Well, here behind me is one of the sharks that we have at Mystic Aquarium. And this is called the sand tiger shark. Have you ever heard of a sand tiger? You've heard of the tiger shark, but you may not have heard of the sand tiger. It looks kind of scary. He's got a lots of nasty looking teeth up front. And you know something? He's not harmful to people. Most sharks aren't. Most sharks won't bite people unless maybe you step on them. Then he might bite you. You might step on somebody, if, uh, bite somebody if they stepped on you too, but I don't think so. Sharks are like that, but most of the time, these sharks are pretty docile. Now, I find these sharks sometimes right around here in Connecticut, around Mystic Aquarium. I found one not too long ago while paddling my kayak. He didn't try and bite me because he was a pretty good shark. Let's find out how to draw these guys. Come on over here to my drawing board. All right, pencils ready, paper ready. Make sure they're sharpened. Okay, here we go. We're going to learn how to draw a shark. Let's see. Let's start off with a line. Are you ready? Right down here, I'm going to draw an angle line again. Just like that, okay? So the shark is going to start straight across. So we have them at a little bit of an angle. A little more interesting. Got that line? All right. Now, rather than drawing ovals like you usually do, I'm just going to draw a curved line on the top. And a curved line on bottom. So watch me. It's going to come up like this here and back like this here. One at the bottom, like that. Okay. I should shorten that up a little bit. I don't want it to go to the end of my paper. I don't want to make it go that long. So I'm going to shorten them up a little bit. I need room for the tail. Okay. So I got to make sure I make plans for the tail. All right. So that's our first two lines. That's the basic shark shape. Shark shape. Say that three times. All right. Next thing we're going to do is find out where his fins are, okay? Now, he has a dorsal fin up top. It's about right about in the middle of his body. It's going to be right about here. And it looks like that, like a bent witch's hat, huh? Leaning backwards like that. And you always see the dorsal fin when he's swimming through the water, don't you? Especially on the top of the surface. Now, on the side, he's got some more fins. And they're called his pectoral fins. And they're over here. They come down like this. But they're in front of the dorsal fin. They're over here. We're going to make his head up here. That's going to be his front. That's going to be the back. All right, you got those fins in? Now, we all know that sharks have a scary-looking jawline, don't they, with all those teeth in them. So the shark's jaw is going to be down here. So I'm going to draw a line like this here, like that. And then we'll draw a line out like that, right there. And I'm going to continue this back, and I'm going to make it continue so it blends in with the other line on the bottom. Okay. Now, remember, the mouth is down at the end of their body like a lot of fish is, okay? Fish have their, most fish have their mouths right at the front of their bodies, whereas sharks have their mouths underneath the main part of where their sort of nose would be or their eyes would be, okay? I'm going to put the eye right here, right above the mouth. Put a circle right there. Does that look like a shark now? Of course, because a lot of sharks... Most of them have the same kind of structure, okay, just like that. Some don't because, they're, like I said, there are how many? Over 350 different kinds, and they all don't look exactly alike. Now I'm going to put the tail in. Now the tail fin looks like this here. comes up all right to the edge of my paper, and it comes back again like this. That's the top fin. Now the bottom doesn't go up quite so far. It does this. It comes back. That's called an asymmetrical fin. Well, it's a really big word, isn't it? Asymmetrical. That means it's bigger on one side or bigger on top than it is at the bottom. 
Symmetrical means they're both even on both sides. If you fold a piece of paper and cut out a heart, half of it, and you open it up, it's symmetrical. That means it's even on both sides. So our shark has an asymmetrical tail. All right? You're learning some stuff? All right. Good job, boys and girls. Now, let's see. What else does this shark need? Well, sharks are different from fish in that they have a different kind of a gill. They have what we call gill slits. So right here, I'm going to put five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to squeeze them in right between the end of his mouth and his pectoral fin right here. Can you squeeze them in? Now, not all sharks have five. Some might have seven, okay? But most have around that number. Remember, different kinds of sharks, different kinds of parts. Ah, let's see. Um, you got his gill slits in. Let's do a fun thing. Let's put his teeth in. You want a really big, nasty-looking shark with big old teeth? Or do you want something more like this guy right here? He's got more fine teeth, but he's got lots of them. So I'm going to put my teeth in. I'm going to make him jagged like this here. His uppers and his lowers. All right. Looking pretty mean now? Yeah, he does look pretty mean. I don't know if he's a friendly shark. I'm going to dock it in part of his eye because he's looking at something. And I'll leave that little spot like I usually do on the top of his eye, uncolored. That gives it the eye a little bit more shape. It's got that gleam in his eye. All right. So far, so good. Now, you know, besides the dorsal fin, most sharks have a second dorsal, which is back here. I'm going to make it a little bit different shape. Looks so like that. Now, our sand tiger that I showed you first has almost a double dorsal. It has like two dorsal fins, one behind the other. So it's a little bit different. As I said before, there are a lot of sharks that have different kinds of features that are, that are not quite the same as other sharks. All right. Now, another, another fin back here. And that about completes most of the structure of the shark. And one of the things about the shark, too, is that... They have something called counter shading. Ever hear of counter shading? Well, our penguins have it. They're white in front and they're black in back. And that helps protect them because it's kind of a, a form of camouflage, okay? And our shark, even though he's a predator, has got kind of the same thing where it's got a dark on the top and light on the bottom. All right, so there's our shark there. Now, one of the things I like to do is show you that not all sharks stay in the same position all the time. So if you feel like something a little bit more advanced, we're going to draw something a little bit different. And I'm going to start off with kind of a curve. All right, let me see what I can do with this shark right here. Let's do this guy. He's in the background. I'm going to start off with something like that. It's going to be a curve. So if you want, just want to watch me and try it on your own, I'm going to move through this pretty quickly. This shark here is going to be coming towards us. And I'm going to be doing the same kind of a way. And then I'm going to bring his tail out this way. In the small one part of the bottom. And this one here. And this part here is pectoral fins over here. And there's one on the other side you don't see. And I'm going to open up his mouth, which is on the bottom. And I'm going to make him look like his eyes. He looks like he's going to be look, looking at something, like he's going to catch it. His gill slits. Got another, another fin over here, another fin on top. I didn't put, put the, this nostril in, too, and big teeth here. Looks like he's chasing something. Maybe he's chasing one of my friends, a happy little fish in the ocean. I don't think they're too happy anymore. And I can complete the scene. So there have, we have two different, two different sharks done each a little bit differently, okay? Now, let me, before I go, I sort of finished this drawing before. Let me show you the drawing that I did earlier. And here's that almost the same kind of a drawing with those same two sharks. I added some, some seaweed into it, a little bit of shadow, because this shark is closer to the bottom. And this shark found the fish. He's chasing into the seaweed. Now, hopefully, the little fish will get away from that shark, but I'm not sure. That's why I put some, some orange seaweed over here for him, because if he gets in there, he's got an orange body. Maybe he can hide in there, because we call that camouflage, don't we? You ever hear that word before? All right. So there we have it. There's our shark scene, a couple different shark, kinds of sharks. And this one here, I meant to mention it to you. This one's more like a tiger shark. 
because they put those tiger stripes on them too. And they're pretty dangerous shark, very dangerous shark. So there we have two sharks. I hope you had a good time. Learn about sharks. And next time we meet, maybe you can tell me more about sharks too. Have a great day.